hey guys welcome to another video um i know i've been gone for like forever i feel like um but i've been taking some time off to myself as i have like personal issues that i'm dealing with um in my life right now um it's been kind of like um just that time where i don't feel like doing anything really besides just focus on my kids um i haven't been really wanting to vlog or post anything or do any videos or anything like that um but today i felt like hey you know what i did recently not too long ago get a new printer i think i got it in january of this year um yeah in january um and it's an epson 15,000. um i've been wanting this printer for a while but it was just so darn expensive it was like 700 plus dollars that's including tax and stuff right um but still you guys when you guys don't have that type of money it's like it's hard but um it's all worth it because you can make your own shirts now you can even start your own business if you want to um this printer i do like because it's a lot wider so it's um you can print a lot um a lot bigger than a regular epson um and yeah you guys i'm like really excited to show you guys what it looks like um and i also did get a cameo 4 because i knew back then you cannot um print large images on cricut right well guess what you guys i got all this stuff already right and then just yesterday which was what saturday the the 19th 19th i think it was you guys i don't know i, I can't check the date right now because i or maybe I can, oh, it's on my computer, okay. So yeah, yesterday was the 19th and it was Sunday. Sunday the 19th, I, some video just popped up in my recommendations on YouTube and it said that you can't print larger images on Cricut now, right? I'm like, wait, what? And so, you guys, you can. I tried it out earlier today um to see if you can print out a large range i haven't tried it yet like print an image out yet but i have seen the settings on the cricut that you can totally do it now and i'm going to show you guys in a minute um so we're gonna do this whole printing stuff together um in cricut because i feel like way more comfortable using cricut than the silhouette i was getting pretty frustrated because you have to like when you have a background and stuff you have to like um do that trace thing on it and you know to crop the background out and stuff like that and it's just like very frustrating to me i'm just like so used to working with cricut i've been working with cricut for like years now um and i'm just like so used to and accustomed to using cricut that you guys now i can go back to cricut but guess what i spent like what 300 something dollars i think on the cameo i don't remember but I did order it from Amazon, and it's really cute, and I'm going to show you guys too. And I also brought a, bought a heat press machine, a bigger one, not the, you know, not the Cricut kind. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, sorry you guys, I'm very bad at explaining things. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the stuff that I bought. And I also bought vinyl and the transfer tape um, from Heat Transfer Warehouse, I want to say it's called. Everything I'm going to link down in my description, hopefully, if I don't forget you guys. I sometimes end up forgetting because I do have kids and I just want to, like, edit and do the whole video. And then um, sometimes I just forget adding that on there. But I'm going to hopefully remember to do it this time. Um, but yeah, let's go to showing you guys all the um, equipment and um, stuff that I bought to start this whole new eco-solvent um, shenanigans that i'm trying to do <laughs> yeah okay guys so i have the um cameo for right here and this is a cutting machine for the vinyl um which i'm probably not going to use anymore i'm going to go back to my cricut since we can do larger printings on cricut now and then i have my um heat press machine thing here and i've been had this so yeah so i used to have this epson right here which is a lot smaller, you guys can tell it's not wide enough. And look at this baby right here. This baby right here is a lot more wider, you guys. Isn't she beautiful? 
Yes. And then you guys, I bought the vinyl and then this is the um, heat transfer tape for the vinyl. And um, like I said, I'm gonna try to link everything down below. But yeah, you guys, this is all the stuff that I got and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, how to use this new Cricut thing. Um, larger image printing situation here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the enlarging of an image. So you're gonna click on these little three lines right here. You're gonna scroll all the way down to settings. You're gonna click on beta. So it's not gonna be on live anymore. You're gonna click on done. And it's gonna bring this up. And it's gonna be um, downloading all that little good stuff. So now it's pretty much transferring to beta now. Okay, guys, so once you're um, logged back in, let's click out of this. So once you're logged back into this part, now it's going to say better on top of here. And so now you know that, that you're there. So we're going to click on these three lines again. Go back to settings. Now it's on better. So now what you want to do is you're going to go to low type. Click on this print then cut page size. Then you go ahead and click the um, sizes that you want to go ahead and do. So now you can do 11 inches by 17 inches, or you can do 11.7 um, inches by 16 and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one. Um, and yeah, and then you click that and you're off and ready to go. And then you click on new project, then you upload. Um, whatever image you decide to want to load up. Uh, I think I'm going to be working on this little guy right here. And we're going to add him on there. Maybe I should say or her because she's nice and pink. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one. And now you can literally uh, go to say 11 and a half. I don't want to do 11 and a half by um, five. Or should I do six? Let's do six and a half. No, six is fine probably. Yeah, we'll do six. Does it look too over, oversized? Probably not. Okay, you guys. So you guys don't see the notifications here that it would give you like, you know, you're overly, you know, printing or whatever. Your max, you're, you're over printing on your size or whatever it may say. I don't remember what it says. Um, but you don't get that now. So that means you can definitely print out bigger. But um, yeah, I thought I would share that with you guys. Okay, guys. So now that I showed you guys how to um, do bigger images, I'm going to go ahead and get mine started off a of camera. And then um, I'm going to show you guys when I start printing this out. Um, yeah, and once I get it printed and stuff like that, I'll show you guys the settings that I'm going to be using for printing because I think I'm going to do it a little bit different. Usually I use prem, uh, premium something matte. I'll show you guys later on my settings once I get everything done, once I'm ready to actually print. Um, I'm going to switch it up a little bit because I've seen um, some YouTube videos where um, they did theirs a little bit different. Uh, and the reason when I, why I want to try this a little bit different was because um, I feel like my printer is throwing a lot of ink and it's giving my images like those rolling um, track marks on my images. They're not that bad, but you can definitely tell that they're on there. And so maybe if I switch up the settings, it'll probably be better this time. Um, but it's all trial and error, so I'm gonna go just go ahead and try it and see what happens. Um, but I'll definitely be showing you guys what I'll be doing. Um, I'm not gonna, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not gonna go ahead and work on this image. I think I'm gonna um, work on a smaller image, like maybe for my son's shirt or something like that. Cause I have a bunch of shirts that I do wanna like make um, and that I have in hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. Um, and yeah, you guys, I'm going to get started on that and then I'll show you guys um, how it works. Okay, guys, so when you guys are ready to uh, print, you go ahead and select your printer right here. 
mine is the um, Epson 15000 and then I'm going to click on auto bleed system dialog then I'm going to go to print this and then once you're done you're going to go right here to the printer you're going to click on printer preferences I'm going to click on paper tray because I want it to come up from the top part and then I'm going to do this um, 8.5 by 11 letter size um, I'm going to click on portrait right here I'm going to press presentation paper mat I used to do premium presentation paper mat but I'm going to do it differently this time because I feel like it just okay, throws so much right ink so I'm hopefully thinking that that might be a little bit less ink that it uses then i'm going to click on standard right here i'm going to i mean i'm going to leave it as standard i would usually put high but i'm just going to go ahead and just leave it on standard um and then i'm going to do print preview then i'm going to go to more options um do not mirror your image because this does not be doesn't need to be mirrored at all since it's equal solvent um you're just going to print it and cut it as is um, go to advanced setting then i'm going to go to adobe rgb 2.2 then i'm going to click ok and then i'm going to go to maintenance and make sure that the thick paper is okay thick paper and envelopes is already clicked on there so there we go um and i think that is the way i'm going to do it and i'm going to press ok and then i'm going to click on print And this is how it's going to print out perfectly fine. All I got to do is just cut out my vinyl. So I'll be right back when um, I'm going to show you guys when it starts printing. All right, guys. So when you guys are going to do your um, print, you're going to go ahead and put the matte side facing up um, and the glossy part to the back. So you're going to be print. So you're going to be printing on the matte side. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. Okay guys, so I got my matte sided up and glossy side in the back. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and press print now. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and press print. And then we're going to go ahead and head to the printer. And then from here. And then now it's all loading it up. I'll show you guys once it comes out because I know it's going to take a while for it to print. So I'll come back. Okay, guys. So this is how it's looking like. Really nice. It doesn't have like really big um, or like dark uh, tracks like I had mentioned before. It does still have a little bit of them as you can probably see it right there. See that? Um, but it's way less than what it... Um, you can tell it's also still pretty wet. Um, but it also doesn't um, have them as dark as it was before. I wish I could have showed you guys a before one where it was um, the tracks were like a lot more darker and noticeable. This time they're still there, but it's not as bad. Um, I just don't know how to get rid of those. Like if anybody knows or has any tips, please let me know. Do I have to mess with any other settings or like how do i go about that because i mean i don't like it i don't like it anyways i'm gonna go ahead and do my um cut now and then we're gonna go ahead and um iron it on my child's shirt so you guys i'm gonna fold it like a little taco and then i'm just gonna go ahead and lay it down just like that and then just use my little scraper. You guys, I had to like literally um, cut this out myself because my um, cricket was not reading the registration marks. I have no idea why, but it wasn't. And so your girl had to cut that with this little thingy right here, this little blade. And it took me a very long time to do that. Um, but I finally got it done. So, whatever. I was singing the whole time. Nothing ever stopped me before. Nothing ever stopped me before. Nothing ever ever stopped me before. Okay, anyways. I was singing that the whole time. 
while I was doing this because ain't nothing ever stopped me before. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I was pretty bummed because I always like to look at things the easy way. Like, Cranky, you just like literally like fell my dream, boo boo. Anyways, I'm about to <laughs> lint roll this thing right here. And so I'm just gonna lint roll this baby up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press this down. Just to release some of the moisture. Seconds. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and oh, oh, lay this down just like that. Okay, let me bring it out some so I can be able to see with the light. Look at it. Look, it's the Hulk. That looks even enough, right? Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and once that thing tells me it's heated up, then I'm gonna press it down for 15 seconds. And it's gonna look gorgeous, I tell you. It's gonna look gorgeous. Then I'm gonna get my little Teflon sheet. Does it look good right there? I think it does, right? And we're gonna lay it on here. Time is almost done. Okay, right, let's try it. Okay, let's go. Go ahead and peel. Marble. 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 Why y'all always fighting? It's my question. Why? Why y'all always want to be fighting? Okay, you guys. I'm going to put the tempo sheet again. And then I'm going to put 15 seconds again. Okay. And y'all, this is it. The grand finale. The grand finale. But look how cute it came out, you guys. Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful, you guys. It's beautiful. And the color is really nice and vibrant. I actually did a pretty good job um, cutting it out myself, <laughs> I must say. But, yeah, you guys. Um, I did get my ink, which I forgot to tell you guys. I did also get the ink, um, and I got it from Amazon. It goes for like 40 something dollars. Eco Solvent is pretty expensive, you guys. I'm not even gonna sit there and front and tell y'all it's not. It's expensive. Like the ink, the the vinyl, the printer, if you wanna do it on a bigger, like if you wanna do bigger images, you're gonna have to invest in something bigger. Um if not, then you can um, it's do it on a regular uh thing let me turn off this um heat thing okay so yeah you guys so that is um my little tutorial for you guys for today i'm really happy that um cricket did upgrade to like a larger size um image setting which is freaking awesome but i did invest in the cameo 4 and i can't reach it anymore because i kind of messed up their uh uh cutting mat thing already <laughs> um yeah but you guys i prefer cricket over anything because like i said i've used it for many years and i'm like so used to just um making my work on that um the only thing that i'm really upset about is that the darn machine did not read the registration marks so i had to really cut this stuff up on my sale i didn't like that at all but anyways you guys i'm done talking i will see you guys on my next video um Oh my god, you guys, I need to blow my nose again. And uh, hopefully next time when I upload something else, um, I'll be over this darn cold. 
um for you guys um thank you guys for uh staying subscribed to me even though i haven't been posting for a while like a very long time i feel like it's been years uh, but I know it's been maybe like a month. No, not even a month. Probably been like two or three months that I haven't posted. I don't remember. It was something like that. But I'm going to try to keep posting you guys now that I have an easier way to sublimate. Not sublimate. Equal solvent print um, my images and stuff. Which I'm really loving. So, yeah, you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video, like I said. Um, if you're new here and you're just coming to check out my channel and you like what you see... Um, consider subscribing to my channel, please. It will help me a lot. Um, I'm trying to get to a goal. Um, and hopefully I could uh, get as many subscribers as possible because I really enjoy making videos, but I've been like literally slacking because stuff that I've been going through in my personal life that I don't really want to talk about right now. But eventually I will bring it up to you guys one day when I'm comfortable enough to talk about it. Um, and it doesn't stress me out to talk about it. Because right now when I even think about it, it's just like stressful as ish. And I just want to just keep a positive lifestyle. And that's the reason why I guess I don't bring stuff on to my social media, YouTube channel thing. Because um, I don't want you guys to get a negative vibe from my channel. Like I want this channel to be positive. But I also would like to talk to you guys about my personal stuff. But just not at this moment. Um, just to let it all out there, you know. Um, you know, sometimes when you vent to people, it helps you out in life uh, to be less stressful and things like that. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm gonna get going because these kids are like in the background doing the most, and yeah, it's probably already almost dinner time as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Like I said a million times. Um, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for all the subscribers that are still subscribed to me. I really appreciate you guys for holding on. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!